love Mediterranean food. It's my favorite. It's Prego. Uh, I'll have to add this to the list of foods that make me flare up. I've noticed this more with starches. Now be sure to take your vitamins with your meal. You wouldn't want to get a stomach ache. Are you going to talk to me? I'm eating. Man, this is really good. Thank you. It's two cloves of garlic, an onion, a can of San Marzano tomatoes, and um, just a quarter cup of white wine. It's my grandmother's recipe. Didn't ask for the recipe, but thanks. Well, hello. Hello. My two favorite fruits, the grape and the tomato. Mm. Oh. Make sure your knife is on the outside. Your utensils are misplaced. Great, now we can dine. Can't help yourself, can you? Yeah, Linda's on that paleo diet or whatever. Freaking eating kale and trout every day and thinking that's gonna make her look like a caveman. No, you gotta hunt for your food if you really wanna look like a caveman. Makes no sense. People are stupid. Would you like some salt or pepper? Uh, sure. Good meal. Thanks. Have you thought of taking that cooking for dummies class? They have one next Wednesday. Wow, that is so good. You are so good at what you do. You are so good at cooking. You have a gift, you really do. Thank you for sharing it with me. <sighs> to eat or not to eat? We should have pork chops today since we had pasta yesterday. I mean, technically we could survive without food for a month as long as we had water. Tell me you've had better spaghetti. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't do it. Would I still appreciate this food if I had it every day? If I had the spaghetti every single day for the rest of my life, would I still like it? Because it's my favorite food, but I don't know. Because I see my favorite people every day, and I like them still. But, uh, people are different. People aren't food. But I guess if you're a cannibal. Mm. Which I'm not. <sighs> what is the point, really? I go back and forth, like, maybe there is a point. Because you can create the point. You can... I don't know if there's any inherent meaning, but you can make the meaning. So does that make life meaningless? Because I really find you meaningful, and our relationship meaningful, and this conversation's meaningful. But is life inherently... Do, is there... <laughs> Molly, the person who talks about things with people while they eat. ISTJ. That clock is loud. Is that going to be in there the whole time? That's me. I have check. Oh, for real? Yeah, is that going to be in there? It's been, the it's been in the whole time. Frick. You didn't notice that? Don't know? No. Oh, that's really good. Oh, thanks. It's my grandma's recipe. It's just two cloves of garlic, one onion, a freaking... <laughs> San Marzano? Is that San Marzano. San Marzano. Maybe I'll just say the tomatoes. Or Marzano. Marzano? Yeah, San, San Marzano. Marzano. Oh, okay. Try it again. Wow, that's really good. Thanks. It's just a clove of garlic. Uh, <laughs> 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 My grandma's recipe, it's delicious. It's two cloves of garlic, one onion. <laughs> cloves of garlic, one onion, can of San Marzano tomatoes. And a quarter cup of white wine. One onion? One onion. One onion. The, a quarter cup of white wine. Right? This is really good. Oh, thanks. It's my grandmother's recipe. There's two cloves of garlic. We got an uh, onion. <laughs> I can't see my top. You're not breezy. <laughs> <laughs> a can of San Marzano tomato. Can of San Marzano. And a quarter cup of white wine. I got it. This is really good. <laughs> 
cup of can of a can of salmon. <laughs> I would never tell someone a recipe. Yeah, I know. It doesn't come out naturally. It's really good. Thank you. It's my grandma's recipe. Two cloves of garlic, one onion, a can of San Marzano tom <laughs> tomatoes, and a quarter cup of white wine. It's magic.